guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are out riding, finally. It's not raining in Southern California. You know that old song, they say it never rains in Southern California. They are wrong because it, it's been raining for uh, pretty much what feels like a month. It probably hasn't been quite that long, but uh, it's been a while. Today, we're on the street glide. Um, Josh is on his double R and we got Joe back behind us on his Road King. We're going to do something kind of cool, kind of special today. We're going to ride down to Josie's hideout, huge biker bar, biker hangout. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, beautiful ride to get there. So we're going to capture some really cool footage, uh, on the way down there, show you around Josie's. The first thing we're doing though is the cool people over at Irv Seaver BMW are gonna allow Josh to take out a K1600 for this trip. So, because one of the things we've been thinking about is, is getting that style of bike. So we've got the cruisers, we've got the street bikes and the adventure bikes. And it's like, okay, let's get a true cross country bike. So Josh wanted to check out the K1600 so we're on our way right now to Earth Seaver BMW to pick up the uh, the new K1600. So that way we'll all be kind of riding cruisers, baggers up to Josie's today. It just feels good to be back on the motorcycle if I'm being honest with you. Plus, we've got a special announcement that we're gonna make a little bit later. Josh is of course uh, shooting a video for his channel as Josh sees it linked down in the description below but Josh and I have had an idea for quite some time that we really wanted to execute and we've decided to go ahead and do it and I'm going to tell you all about it coming up a little bit later in this video something I'm really really excited about as we head into 2023 I really want to take this a lot more serious and, and treat my channel the way that I used to back in, you know, 2014, 15, 16, 17, and, uh, and really start kind of creating the kind of content that I enjoy, that I hope you guys enjoy as well. And today is going to kind of mark the beginning of that. So I hope you're looking forward to this journey with us. It's going to be a lot of fun heading down to Josie's, a lot of good scenery. If you don't live in Southern California, you live, live somewhere else around the United States, somewhere else around the world, I, I feel like we're so fortunate because here in Southern California, we have what I consider to be some of the best riding anywhere in the world, mainly because of our weather, because it's not normally like it's been the last three weeks where it's just rain uh, all the time. So, the, and that's really, really odd for us. That, that never happens. So, one of the things in this surprise and, and a special announcement that I'm going to make a little bit later, we're going to start taking you on all of these trips um, to different places around Southern California, Northern California, and even some longer road trips. And we really want to develop this sense of community. The one thing I love about riding motorcycles, whether it be riding my Ducati V4S or the Street Glide or the Pan America, is the community, the brotherhood, how much this community bands together. That's what I love about it the most. I was an only child, so I didn't have any brothers or sisters. And being a part of this biker community, this motorcycle community, it's an important thing and it is a brotherhood and a sisterhood. And we really wanna showcase that more and get together with you guys, go on rides with you guys, come to other places where you are around the United States and experience motorcycles and riding and different rides in your part of the country and take some epic trips. So again, I'm gonna tell you all about that coming up a little bit later in the video. But right now we're gonna to head to Earth Seaver, pick up the K1600, and then we will be off to Josie's hideout. Don't forget guys, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, click, uh, smash the like, the like button because if you don't do all these things, YouTube thinks you don't like the content. It's a weird thing. You can find out everything that's going on with YouTube. We don't want to take up all of our time. 
talking about it. But if you like the channel, you like the content, and you want to see more like it, you're a part of this biker community, you want to see what we're going to bring to you next, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and leave a comment so that it triggers the algorithm and makes sure that you see all the future content that's coming because for whatever reason, even though you turn the bell notification icon on, um, I find out all the time that people are saying, hey, I didn't know, I didn't get notified of, about your new video yesterday. So that doesn't work the way that it used to anymore and I'm sure the good folks at Google and YouTube are working on that and they're gonna get it sorted out. But for the meantime, do all those things if you don't mind, I greatly appreciate it because we got some really, really cool shit coming down the pike and I would love to have you be a part of our community here on this channel. Also, to be a part of what's coming next. Here we are getting off at the exit, heading over to Irv Seaver BMW, pick up the K1600. Man, I got to tell you, I don't get me wrong. I absolutely love my V4S and I love the, uh, the Pan America, but just being able to cruise on the street glide is, it's just nice. I mean, there's, you know, there's no way Josh is as comfortable as I am right now. There are some things I've been thinking about doing to this motorcycle, which oddly enough, this will be a good, uh, good opportunity for you guys to have some input. So let me get your opinion. I'm thinking about adding the tour pack, uh, to this bike because this bike is is like mainly what I use it for now is when my wife and I want to ride together, we always take this bike. So I'm thinking about putting the tour pack on it, doing some things like that. Or do I trade this bike and just get one that already has all of that stuff on it? I started to kind of price it out the other day and there's some pretty good deals going at Harley right now. So it's, it's kind of a toss up. It's kind of like a, flip of a coin is, you know, add, spend the money to add the stuff to this bike or just trade this bike in and get one with everything on it. Put, what do you guys think? Put it down in the comment section. Because one of the things that I'm going to start doing is carrying a lot more gear with me on this bike and the Pan America. My plan is still to, uh, build out the Pan America as a production vehicle for the film company. And I made one major step towards that with the Pan America last week. And I've got a video coming out about that. Something I'm really excited about. Something I wanted to do since the very first day that I got the Pan America and was finally able to do it. So be stay tuned for that video because it's coming really, really soon. But I need to be able to carry more gear with me on this bike as well. Because again, some of the things that I want to do are going to require us to be on the road longer. And as we've established, the V4S is not a long range bike. Uh, the Pan America is, but it's not as comfortable as this. And so if we're talking about driving, you know, three or four or five hours at a time, it's like, I, I, I know, call me a wuss, but I want to be as comfortable as humanly possible and still be able to carry all my gear. So. I want to build this out where I can carry a little bit more with me. So that's kind of the, the thing is trade this bike and get one with the tour pack and everything on it, like a limited or something, or just keep this bike and add to it. I love this bike. I picked this bike out specifically for a reason. So I might just, uh, might just add the stuff to this bike, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Here we are, Earth Seaver BMW.
we'll pick up the K1600 and we will be on our way. I cannot believe these brand new gloves my wife got me for Christmas. Just, I just went to strap them. You probably saw it and it just completely came off. I cannot believe it. All right, guys, we are here at Earth Seaver BMW. We're picking up the K1600, which Josh is going to take up to, uh, he's going to have it for the whole weekend, uh, but we're going to take it up to uh, Josie's hideout. They've got a brand new thing here at Earth Seaver BMW. I think I heard it was their legacy dealership or something like that. If I'm wrong on the verbiage, I apologize. And if I find out later, I'll put it here on the screen somewhere. But it's a showroom, right? maybe it's the legacy showroom, uh, right across from the actual dealership. I'm gonna take you inside and show you. It's really cool. Uh, they've got a whole new coffee bar here. Um, also, the, the chef with egg sandwiches, Dane, all kinds of cool stuff. Was a chef under Gordon Ramsay, so you know it's good food. I'm gonna take you in there and show you around a little bit, but they're playing some loud music in there and I don't wanna get copyright stricken. So um, I'm probably gonna mute out the music and uh, maybe put some other music in there, B-roll this thing around. But anyway, let's go, let's have a look. So as you can see, pretty cool dealership. You've got the actual dealership itself, Irv Sevier right here at the corner of Catella and Manzanita. And then you've got their kind of legacy showroom over there, full coffee shop, everything. So thank you to the guys here at Irv Sevier for letting us drop by. Josh is gonna pick up this K1600 and take a look at it. Uh, some really cool motorcycles in there. And you're probably going, what are all these uh, Harley guys doing messing around at a BMW dealership. Well, Josh has three BMWs. He's got the S1000 RR, the R18, and the GS. So he's kind of a BMW guy, and this is his dealership. Um, but look, we're always on the hunt for what we think we might want next. And a BMW might just be on my list. We'll see. We're gonna pick up the bike, we're gonna get back on the road, and we'll see you guys in a bit. guys and we're off we are now getting on the freeway we're gonna head to the 15 take that all the way down to uh, Josie's hideout Josh has picked up the BMW K1600 and I'm anxious to see his uh, thoughts on the bike when we were at the dealership I was looking at another model and man I got to tell you that bike is something special so comfortable. I mean, when I sat on that bike, it was like uh, Harley Davidson Street Glide. What? I mean, this bike is comfortable, don't get me wrong, but that K1600, that's another level. That is a true cross country motorcycle. And man, the comfort was just unbelievable. If I'm being honest, that may be the next bike I add to the garage. My wife enjoys riding. That's a bike we could get on on a Friday morning in Southern California, drive all the way up to Northern California, go through Malibu, Santa Barbara, all the way up through the Redwoods into Oregon. It's a, a true touring bike. 
that we could have a lot of fun on. Very comfortable. Every creature comfort you can possibly imagine is on that motorcycle. Literally everything, heated seats, heated grips, electric windshield. And the one thing that it doesn't suffer that really I kind of like is the power. It, it's not a lower motorcycle from a horsepower standpoint that you, you suffer having a little bit of fun on the bike for all of the comfort. It really seems like it might be that perfect, get on it, have a lot of fun, in, in, ride it as a sport bike, but then also gear the thing out and take all the way across the country. If anybody watching has any experience or owns a K1600, be sure and uh, put down in the comment section below what you think um, about your K1600. I, I, it's a serious consideration right now. I, I love it. The one thing that they did say about the bike is that when you add the tour pack, it limits the speed to 101 miles per hour because the tour pack is not rated beyond that. Now, when I heard that, I didn't think that was that big of a deal. You shouldn't be going over 100 miles an hour on the motorcycle anyway. Wink, wink. But you certainly shouldn't be going over 100 miles an hour with a passenger and a tour pack on the back. They say that, that Harley Davidson does the same thing uh, to their bikes when they put uh, when they put the tour packs on because it has to do with the wind tunneling uh, trials and all of that, that it, it's not rated beyond 101 miles per hour. So, something to think about. And there she is. A brand spanking new BMW K1600B. You can tell Josh is, is vlogging. I bet people, when we're driving down the street, people see us talking with our hands. I bet they think we're just literally nuts. We're already, in most people's minds, all of us that ride bikes were crazy as fuck to begin with. And now here we are. We are uh, talking with our hands. They have no idea. So anyway, it's a great looking bike. I'm not a big gold or brown person, but I got to say, I really love the, the finish on this particular motorcycle. talk about the K1600 a little bit more in detail. Uh, maybe when we get to Josie's hideout, we're off the bikes, we can get some up close uh, footage of it and talk about some of the features and benefits of the bike. But like I said earlier, we had a special announcement that I wanted to make here on the channel, something that I wanted to do for a long time. You know, something that, that Josh has wanted to do for a long time, because again, the community of this motorcycle community is just such a special thing all over the world. We wanted to start a new brand, and along with that new brand is gonna come a brand new YouTube channel, giveaways, rides, all kinds of really cool stuff, and it's called Ride Motos. You can follow along with us by going over and subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's brand new. This video right here is actually the inaugural video and uh, the link is in the description down below. Subscribe to the channel. If you wanna go on these rides with us, you wanna take these adventures. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a lot of giveaways, a lot of interesting content that is 100% motorcycle related. There's gonna be videos, blog articles, all kinds of things for motorcycle community and motorcycle enthusiasts. We're not going to discriminate on anybody or against anyone. It doesn't matter what walk of life you come from, what color you are, what race you are, what religion you are. The one thing that we're going to focus on is the one thing we all have in common, and that is our love of riding and our love of motorcycles and each other. So it doesn't matter if you ride sport bikes, if you ride cruisers, if you ride adventure bikes, if you ride dirt bikes, it doesn't matter. This brand is going to be all about you and it's gonna be all about the love and fellowship and community that we have surrounding motorcycles. So the official website is ridemotos.com, link in the description. You can also follow along with us on Instagram at ridemotosofficial, that's at ridemotosofficial, it's here on the screen. 
and then also link down in the description below. Our plan in 2023 is to really grow this brand out. We would love to come to your area and ride with you, film it for the channel, other content, feature a lot of other riders around the country, tell your story. That's what Ride Motos is going to be all about. In addition to rides and things like that and video content that we'll have on the YouTube channel, we're going to be doing rides and reviews, which we're going to be taking bikes like this K1600 out. We're going to be putting them through the paces, testing them out, giving you our honest thoughts. Now, always from my perspective, I'm not that big on the specs. I, in all honesty, I don't give a damn about the specs. What I care about is how is it for me? and my intended use of the motorcycle. How am I gonna ride it? How am I gonna use it? So Josh likes a lot of the numbers. He likes a lot of the tech and the special. You'll get that side of it from Josh. The side you'll get it from me is the everyday drivability, usability. Is it something you want to spend your hard earned money on if you intend to do A, B, C, X, Y, Z? So we're gonna have the reviews. We're gonna have a lot of giveaways, a lot of rides some special features here and there and telling the stories of motorcycle enthusiasts all over the world. So again, the website is ridemotos.com. On Instagram, it's at ridemotosofficial. Go follow us, go to the website, sign up for the newsletter, and make sure you subscribe to the Ride Motos YouTube channel. Link in description down below. We're really excited about it and we'd love to have you on this journey with us as we discover more about motorcycles, more about the lifestyle, and more about the people that get on the back of these two wheels and go and have adventures and live their lives. That's what it's all about. So some exciting stuff ahead. We can't wait for, uh, for you to be a part of it with us. Again, ridemotos.com, at ridemotos official on Instagram, and click the link in the description below to, uh, to follow and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Really, really looking forward to the content we're gonna create. All right guys, so we made a little pit stop. Um, before we head on out to Josie's. We got about another 45 minute ride to get there, fuel up a little bit, get a Diet Dr. Pepper, um, have a smoke, shh, don't tell anybody. Um, and then we're gonna head on down. But one of the things I wanted to show you that I thought was pretty interesting here in Southern California, and you see this all, a lot all over the West, but have a look at this, all the Teslas waiting to charge up. How about that? So everybody's on these long trips and it's not only just like us, we need to stop for gas. They need to stop for to charge their battery. So check that out. All of the Tesla charging stations are full and you've got cars waiting to charge. I actually ordered a Tesla. I didn't take delivery of it when it came in because I didn't want to do that all the time. And I don't know that I'm a Tesla guy. I, I like my truck. I like my Audi, my Audi RS5, and I love my motorcycle, so I think I'll stick with that. We're gonna gas up, uh, we're gonna get something to drink, get some water, stay hydrated out there, and then we'll get back on the road. guys here we are Josie's hideout absolutely love this place great food great uh, community absolute awesome hangout we're gonna hop off the bikes we're gonna get some food
All right, let's check out Josie's hideout. Yeah, it's, I mean, fully ready to go. Do you have a stereo too? No. Stereo's on here, yeah. Really? I haven't tested the speakers yet on it, but I mean. Is it heavy? It's uh, 780, so. Oh, that's not bad. Street Clark. That's like mine, probably. 860. Okay. Your old, what year was that? 2000. This has, to me, like I was writing it thinking of like, all right, the comparisons, I think they retail 30. Um, the amount of tech you get for 30 though, I mean, this is, it's comparable to the CBOs where full locking system, all the bells and whistles, heated seat, heated grips. All right, guys, we had lunch here at Josie's Hideout. What an awesome place. If you're looking for some destination riding and you're thinking about Southern California, this has got to be um, a stop. It, great people, friendly, great food, great atmosphere, and tons of bikes. So, I mean, I've, there's a Honda Goldwing right there. There's two Honda Goldwings right there. We've got Harleys, BMWs, we've got adventure bikes, sport bikes. No matter what you're on, you'll be welcome uh, here at Josie's Hideout Saloon. So we're gonna head back on the road. I think we might stop by Temecula Harley, um, and then we'll be back out on the road and we'll be heading back down to coastal Orange County. So wrapping up from here at Josie's, thank you to all the wonderful people here at Josie's for having us. And uh, we will definitely be back. And we might even plan a get together ride uh, to head down here to uh, Josie's hideout. It's just so much, it's a great trip. As you can see, you saw some of the B-roll on the way down here, beautiful country, beautiful riding, and uh, we'll definitely be doing again and uh, this will not be our last trip to Josie's. Wasn't our first, won't be our last. So we'll see you guys on the road. you if you're enjoying this kind of content kind of the longer form destination driven really all about different types of motorcycles be sure and go follow us um, on instagram at ride motos official um, i'll probably even put a link to it in my instagram profile uh, on my link tree you can also go to ridemotos.com, sign up for our newsletter, find out when we're going to be doing rides. If you live anywhere close, or even if you want to come from out of town, come ride with us. We'll have all of that information in the newsletter and on the website. And then click the link in the description below and make sure that you uh, subscribe to the new channel, ridemotos.com. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop making videos on my channel. I'm not. And kind of the format of what we're going to do and we're gonna even be adding more content creators to this team. Um, and like, I'll have a video on my channel from my perspective, Josh will have a video on his channel from his perspective, and then on the Ride Motos channel will be a combination of the two with some additional footage uh, that we don't show uh, in our individual videos that goes in a little bit more detail about the destinations where we are, the motorcycles that we're riding, that kind of stuff too so make your make sure you're following us all across the board there and uh, join the community that's what we're most excited about is really getting deeper involved in the motorcycle community bringing people together again like i said earlier doesn't matter matter what motorcycle you ride street bike sport bike cruiser bagger adventure bike dirt bike doesn't matter doesn't even matter if you don't have a motorcycle if you just enjoy the community welcome. Everybody's welcome at Ride Motos.
some possible big things, big changes coming for me and my family. I don't exactly know where the battery died, so I'm just gonna kind of say it again. Uh, and then if I got it all before, then I won't use this. Um, but, you know, we are really looking to really enjoy our lives. As I get older, like I said, I'm almost 50 years old and I have busted my ass my whole life. Um, I've had the fruits of doing so, but I'm tired. I want a small life. One of the things we've noticed about when we left Nashville, and we left Nashville because I retired from the music business, um, and we wanted to move to California, but one reason that we left Nashville is that Nashville is not the Nashville we moved to and we raised our children. Um, you know, several years ago, nothing against people here in California, but um, they started moving to Nashville just because things were cheaper, just because real estate was cheaper. And, 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 and I understand that and I get that, but I don't get what it is about everybody that wants to move somewhere. They want to change it to make it exactly like it was where they left. They want to take advantage of lower prices and a lower cost of living, but yet they want to make it exactly like the place that they left. That really started happening in Nashville a lot with the decline of the music business and then that happening and people migrating east to places like Nashville, Austin, Charlotte, uh, and different places outside of Atlanta, places like that. We knew we wanted to come to Southern California for this lifestyle. It's something that we always wanted to, to be a part of, but you get here, especially when you're talking about the Newport Beach area, um, that whole area where we live in coastal Orange County, a lot of pretentiousness. And there's a vibe in Southern California, I would say LA South. It's just this, my wife calls it the vibration. It's like it never stops. It feels like you constantly have to be doing something, that you constantly need to be busy and you can't just sit down, you can't just relax. And we miss that about the South a lot. We miss that lifestyle that we had. I'm a huge NFL football fan, huge Dallas Cowboy fan. I have not watched one single football game from beginning to end since we moved to Southern California well over a year ago. And I know that kind of sounds stupid in one way, but in, in to me, it, it's, a, it's a mental health thing as well because I used to relax and enjoy watching football. I don't feel like I can relax anymore. I feel like I've got to be working. I've got to be doing this, got to be going here, got to be, you know, a lot of it may be the sun shining every single day the weather being the same every single day. I don't know what it is, but there is a vibration here. And we've loved our time here. We love living here. But we have also considered going somewhere else, living somewhere else where we can find more of a small town vibe and where there's not that vibration, where we can actually just kick back, relax, and enjoy our lives, enjoy watching our two daughters continue to grow up. One's almost 20. One is... Uh, about to turn 16. So we got a lot of years that we want to, to participate and be in their lives and not feel like we have to be busy and going, going, going all the time. So 2023 might mark even more significant changes for me and my family. Um, I can do what I do with the production company. We travel all over the United States now as it is. So I don't have to be located in coastal Orange County. I can be located in Ohio. I can be located in Pennsylvania, Massachusetts. My wife loves the Northeast. And because of my career, she has been awesome. And so have my daughters in following me and, and me setting the pace and tone of, okay, we need to be here. We need to be here. And even though, you know, we were in Nashville for almost 20 years, a long time. Even before that, my wife and I moved around a lot. And so now as we're, as we're getting in the, the third act of our lives, we want to settle down a little bit. I, I, want, I want to do more of this. I enjoy this. I don't enjoy working all the time. And I want to be able to relax. So my wife always has, has loved and has always expressed interest in wanting to live in the Northeast. And maybe this next move, if we choose to leave Orange County, California, maybe this time she gets to go where she wants to go. So we've actually been looking at houses and property in Northeast Ohio and Pennsylvania. We've looked uh, in Connecticut a couple places, upstate New York. If you live in any one of those places, tell me what you love about living where you live. 
We've even looked at Texas, some places in and around uh, South Central Texas, outside of Austin. Just somewhere we can go and have that small town vibe. I can fly out and be anywhere I need to be on set for a TV show, a film, a documentary. And even on our advertising and marketing side, our video marketing side of our company, I can fly here and, and work with our clients anytime I need to. But the rest of the time, you know, we can have that laid back atmosphere where we're just able to rest and able to relax, where we don't feel like we have to be doing something and be going 24 seven. So I, I hate to get too personal with you guys, but that is a lot of what's been occupying my mind over the last month, six weeks. Um, and it's something we're considering. Um, I also noticed, I don't know what it is about Ohio, but a lot of the other great moto vlogging channels that I love to watch and other motorcycle enthusiast channels, a lot of people in Ohio, a lot of people in the Northeast. So I don't know, it's something we're considering, something we're thinking about. If you love where you live and you live in a setting that is exactly like what I just talked about, low key, laid back, no pretentiousness, just where everybody likes everybody, everybody gets along. You know, I, I'm from the South. I was born and raised in just outside Little Rock, Arkansas. I left when I was 18 and moved all over the country for uh, my job with uh, Clear Channel. I was in the radio business back in those days. When I left the radio business and went into the business side of the music business, into songwriting and producing, we of course moved to Nashville and we lived there for 20 years. And then a year and a half ago, we moved full time here to California. And don't get me wrong, this has been a complete blessing. The people that I've met, um, I would not have met otherwise that have become close and dear friends of mine and that they will remain close and dear friends until the day that I die. But going back to that mental health thing, I think a lot of it is feeling both financial freedom and personal freedom, mental freedom, to be able to allow yourself to do absolutely nothing, to rest and relax and enjoy the time that you have with your family. And I've heard it many times, my wife says a lot of times, one of these days when I'm on my deathbed, I'm, I'm not gonna be wishing that I had one more day to work. Um, I wanna take more advantage of the time that I have. And a lot of that is geographic. A lot of that is lifestyle. It's how and where you live. So we're thinking very seriously about changing up the how and where we live and living somewhere a lot less slower, pay, a lot more slower pace, less pretentiousness, a lot less of that keeping up with the Joneses things. And, you know, even down to little things like why in the world would you pay what we're paying now, $5 a gallon, which is down from $7 a gallon, to when I'm traveling, I go back, people are paying $289, $3 a gallon. It's like, there's a high price to live in, in Southern California. And I was talking with a, a good friend of mine, financial advisor the other day, and he said that's something a lot of people don't realize about Southern California is you can even be wealthy and, and make a good living, which look, I, I do, I'm not complaining about that, but if you apply that to the cost of living, you're really not in that great of a shape. I mean, like, like I'll lay some numbers out here. And again, guys, I'm not, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to boast. Nothing whatsoever. This is just breaking it down and showing you exactly the way things are. We had a very big, nice house in Nashville. That house, the mortgage on that house, I think was $2,200 a month beautiful home. We owned it. We ended up selling it when we moved here, but beautiful home. Almost 4,000 square feet. It was gorgeous. New neighborhood, just beautiful. Perfect life. Perfect amount of room. Had my studio there. It was great. We come to Southern California, and yeah, we've got an ocean view, but our place here in Southern California is like 1,400 square feet, and we pay almost $5,000 a month, $5,000 a month. Then you take little things like, I think I've said it in a video before, Jersey Mike's. There's four of us, me and my wife, my two daughters. We go to Jersey Mike's, everybody gets a sub, we go home and eat, right? In Nashville, that was $32. Here, 
it is 65 to 70 dollars every time we go get jersey mics then you add the the higher gas prices it, the, the, everything is higher here if you want to go out to a regular nice restaurant and have a meal it's 200 250 dollars it, it, it's absolutely insane. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I know this was a long one. It was a long trip, it was a long day, but I wanted to make sure we got a little bit of, uh, of everything in the video. Lot to unpack, and uh, so I realized that. So thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let YouTube know that you enjoy the content. We've got a lot of content coming. Plus, like I said, don't forget, go over and follow Ride Motos Official on Instagram and subscribe to the new YouTube channel at Ride Motos Official. You can also visit the website ridemotos.com. A lot of great content coming, motorcycle reviews, rides, meetups, get togethers, giveaways, all kinds of cool stuff. And again, all kinds of motorcycles, all riders are welcome with Ride Motos. Guys, thank you for being here for this video. Um, I'm going to be out filming on location uh, in Oklahoma this coming week, so I'm not sure what I'll be able to upload to the channel, uh, but who knows? We'll see. Thank you guys for being here for this one. See you in the next video.